understanding and verification about nystagmus and vestibular ocular reflex. The purpose of this experiment is to understand nystagmus, verify momentary nystagmus, which is related to vestibular ocular reflex. Vestibular ocular reflex occur when normally head is moved, but reflex and disease occur without reference to motion of the head. Lateral abnormality of scala vestibular triggers chaining of abnormal at asymmetric action potential frequency. So the eyes automatically move when the head's motion is not seen. That physical phenomenon is nystagmus. In this video, this dog has canine peripheral vestibular disease with nystagmus. Nystagmus occur when the animal is turned sharply or the human comes to a sudden halt. Because of the energia, endolymph continually turns in a short period of time. There are several types of nystagmus. Nystagmus is a condition of involuntary eye movement. The oscillations may occur in the horizontal oscillations, vertical oscillations, or the combinations, such as rotating oscillations. It can also occur in what, only one eye or both of the eyes. The vestibular system lies in the inner ear. It is the sensory system that provides sense of balance, sense of gravity, orientation for coordinating movements with balance. It helps us stay upright when standing, helps us walk, run, and move without falling. It consists of three semicircular canals that contain fluid and sensors that detect rotational movement of the head. The semicircular canals deal with different movement, up and down, side to side, and tilting from one side to the other. They all contain sensory hair cells that are activated by movement of the inner ear fluid. Vestibular disorders can cause dizziness and balance difficulties. In the United States, testing for horizontal gaze nystagmus is one of the battery of field sobriety tests used by the police officers to determine whether a suspect is driving under the influence of alcohol. The test involves observation of the suspect's pupil as it follows a moving object. Noting lack of smooth pursuit distant and sustained nystagmus at maximum deviation, and the onset of nystagmus prior to 45 degrees. The horizontal gaze nystagmus test has been highly criticized and major errors in the testing methodology and analysis found. However, the validity of the horizontal gaze nystagmus test for use as a field sobriety test for persons with a blood alcohol level between 0.04 to 0.08 is supported by peer-reviewed studies and has been found to be a more accurate indication of blood alcohol content than other standard field sobriety tests. To do this experiment, a rotating chair, alcohol, a camera for filming the eye movements were used. Test 1 is rotary nystagmus and post-rotary nystagmus. Rotary nystagmus. 1. Subject sits on a rotating chair. 2. 
subjects have to take the feet off the floor, tilt the head slightly down, open the eyes. Another person rotates the chair 10 times, 2 seconds per one rotation. 3. Observe the movement of the eyes of subjects. Write the direction of the eye movement. Is it fast or slow? Post rotary nystagmus. 1. Follow the same experiment method of rotary nystagmus, but close the eyes. 2. Stop the rotating chair and open the eyes immediately. Observe the eye movement of the subject. Write down the direction of the eye movement. Is it fast or slow? Test 2. Nystagmus after intake in alcohol. 1. Prepare soju alcohol approximately 150 milliliters, which is half bottle. 2. Drink the prepared alcohol in a non-empty stomach state. 3. Repeat the test 1. Rotary nystagmus. Test 3. Horizontal nystagmus. 1. Prepare a pen. 2. Place the pen 20 to 30 centimeters away from the face of the subjects. 3. The subjects look at the pen, but only move the pupil. 4. Move the pen horizontally to fit left and right 10 times. 5. Observe the movement of the eyes of subjects. 6. Repeat the process 1 through 5 after intaking alcohol. When the subjects were turned right, the pupil rotated left. The duration time varied. The so rotary nystagmus and post rotary nystagmus times were Han, 17 seconds to 13 seconds. Lee, 9 seconds to 9 seconds. Kim, 6 seconds to 6 seconds. Wu, 7 seconds to 5 seconds. This is the comparison data of before and after alcohol consumption in rotary nystagmus. The subjects were turned right in both before and after alcohol consumption rotary nystagmus. The pupils rotated left in both before and after alcohol consumption of rotary nystagmus. The duration time before and after were on 17 seconds to 26 seconds. Lee, 9 seconds to 11 seconds. Kim, 6 seconds to 13 seconds. Wu, 7 seconds to 7 seconds. Table 3 is comparison data for before and after alcohol consumption of horizontal nystagmus. Nystagmus before alcohol consumption. All of the subjects follow the target smoothly. After alcohol consumption, all of the subjects lack smooth pursuit. In test one, nystagmus duration time reduced in two subjects. The nystagmus duration time did not change in the other two subjects. Although the turning direction did not change, the duration time differed. In test two, after the consumption of alcohol, response of nystagmus reduced and the duration time prolonged. In test three, after the consumption of alcohol, the gaze that followed the target lacked smooth pursuit. Understanding and detecting nystagmus is important. It is generally an involuntary movement of the eyes described as to and fro motion. It can disable maintaining balance, which can alter movement in our everyday lives. It can be a pathologic problem, or as shown in test one, two, three, it can be triggered and experienced as a normal physiological response. Further study of nystagmus will be done throughout the year. 
One of the methods will be the use of alcohol. Because the consumption of alcohol has the same effects of nystagmus, 